I just finished cutting my six 12 inch two by twos and my two longer 33 and a half two by twos. So now I'm gonna assemble these to get into the same structure. And about 15 minutes later, we have a second one. Oh, let's get all these little shavings off of there. So now we've got two. I'm gonna go place them in the van. The plan is to only cover the top right now. Um, I wanna cover the sides as well, but I wanna get to making the bed and I just really need the top covered to have a place um, for part of the bed to rest. So yeah, let's go throw it in the van and then we'll, I don't know what we'll do. <laughs> Maybe start the bed, maybe slap the piece of plywood on top, see how well they fit in there. Alright, and here's what the wheel wells look like in the van. Also, we've thrown the bench in here and the kitchen. We've decided we think we're going to make the kitchen a little bit shorter, just a smidge, because we don't like how it hits the window. But I think the next step with the wheel wells, uh, I changed my mind. I'm actually gonna close them up real quick, so just make little um, panels for each side. And then we'll step it with some rock wool for insulation and then make a nice little panel on top. And then we could start the bed. We are up early this morning to be building the bed. Um, Chris had a great idea for the bed. It's gonna have kind of two little levels to it. So I'm building a frame right now to go around here. Then we'll have some vertical two by twos to have a piece of plywood laying right across. Those will be some little cubbies for us. And then do the same exact thing, another little frame with some little vertical two by twos. And then our bed slats. So we'll have like little baby cubbies up here, bigger cubbies down there. And then to make up the rest of the bed, I'm just going to do a simple frame that will connect. So, I'm starting off. I already took the measurements. I am starting off by... Oh yeah, aren't we super organized? It looks great. <laughs> um, I'm starting off by just screwing all these little 2 by 2s together to make a nice... Uh, like a little rectangle. And yeah, start putting it all together. All right. First frame done in record time. <laughs> and I'm gonna go see if it fits in the van and if it does, I'll keep building up. And it fits. So now I'm just gonna measure from here to the top of the wheel wells and keep building up. I brought the frame back to my very small table. The table looks very small compared to the frame. But I cut out nine of these, I don't know, does anyone know what you'd call them? I was calling them pillars for a while, but they're also just, it's like just being the two by twos vertically. But before I do that, I'm gonna slap this guy right down the center and then just start putting the little two by twos go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So then it can go flat over. All right, it's time for a ton of drilling. And here we have it, all nine, all set up. And all I have to say is, I'm tired. <laughs> The, all the drilling really kind of took it out of me, but I'm gonna go ahead and get the plywood that's gonna go right on top and measure that out and cut that out and we'll have our first layer done. I had the bed inside just to make sure it fit, but I decided to move the project outside because I'm gonna have to paint it. But I'm on to making the second level. I already started building the second frame, but I'm gonna continue doing that and then I will check back in to show what the second frame will look like. Also. These are hanging off because these cover the tops of the wheel well, so this is correct. It looks funky, but it looks better when it's in the van. Alright, I finished the second frame. Now it's time to put these little tiny guys, so the upper storage is going to be smaller than the smaller storage because we don't want a super duper high bed. Alright, so the three parts of the bed are all done. We have our lower part that's storage, the little divider of plywood, and then the top part, which is much skinnier storage. And then we're just going to put some slots on here. But before I start doing that, I think I'm going to get to painting it. Um, so I'm going to deconstruct it all because um, these aren't connected yet. I haven't screwed them all in. I'm not planning on doing that until it is in the van. So I'll take these parts off and just start painting to make it a nice white to match the rest of the van. It's time to start loading in the bed piece by piece. 
So this is the first piece. And then we'll grab the next one and just drill it in as we go. And then probably in about 20 minutes, we'll have a full blown bed, which is very exciting. And the third part is up. I didn't film us installing it because when I built it, I didn't take into consideration the curvature of the wall so it wouldn't fit in. So we kind of had to take it apart a little bit and then re-screw it in. But it is in. The paint also doesn't look great, but I'm gonna touch that up right now. So now you can see, this is our little bottom storage, top storage. And now that the third part is up, except for the slats, just gotta put the slats on top. I'll kind of explain why we had to do this in two parts. We had the wheel well, and instead of trying to like make one continuous piece that worked around, we just decided to do it in two parts. So this all stops at the wheel well, and now we're gonna have a second chunk right here. That will just go all the way up and meet at the top. So then we'll have, I think our bed is almost gonna be a full size bed, which is really exciting. All right, so we have the whole second like part of the bed in. I did not record that because I'm not gonna lie, it's a little stressful because as you can see our van has a curvature so when I built this outside of the van I tried to put it in and it couldn't fit through the door so I kind of had to disassemble it cut it up glue it screw it all in different ways just to get it so then we'd have an even bed but also so um, it would just fit in this little space so I didn't record that but I do have the whole second part up you can also tell we've already started storing stuff underneath <laughs> but now it's time the final step before the mattress was just is putting these little slats on. So I'm just gonna go to Home Depot, pick up some more, lay them all across, drill them in, and then we will have a full bed. All right, I have all the slats cut out. They all are kind of different widths and colors and everything. I was a little too lazy to go back to Home Depot, so I just found some leftover stuff that just would do the trick cut them all down all I gotta do is drill and then we have a bed we'll first lift the mattress up but then oh my god we're gonna have a bed I'm so excited oh you're recording yeah it's a big moment nice alright go ahead put it in um Oh yeah, obviously, right? Yeah, Two oh yeah, sheets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, and the window covers too. Man, nice. And it's super cozy. It is exactly, huh? Yeah. Oh man, yeah. Is that is that enough for you guys? Yeah. Oh well, we're gonna sleep uh, this, this way. This way. Okay. Okay. I'm just not trying to get my feet on the bed. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, just right, huh? Yeah, it's a perfect size for two yeah. people. Just right. 